Why are you in your ghost form, out of curiosity? As I feared, we arrived in different locations. I am in a city near the sea, in a land of eternal spring. The air smells of the ocean, and of markets and gardens. It matters not. You have awakened once again, and we must set you on your path. You sound like you landed in a fantastic place. Markets, gardens, eternal spring, it smells of the ocean. Kind of jealous I didn't wake up there now. Um, but how long was I out for? Days, weeks, I cannot tell. The voids between worlds disrupted all sense of time and space. I know only that you were deposited into the sea, and some charitable soul fished you out and brought you to dry land. Oh, that was nice of them. Hopefully I can find them and say thank you or send them a thank you gift. Uh, where should I go now or do or is there anything else you need? I'm afraid you will have to decide that for yourself. I must focus on searching for a way to repay Lyris's bold sacrifice. I cannot simply abandon her to the wrath of Molog Ball. Well, I don't want to do that either. I want to go help Lyris. So am I going to see you again sometime soon or? I cannot foresee that. Not yet, but we will meet again. There is still much we need to accomplish. Be wary, Vestige. Our very plane of existence is in peril. The threat of Molag Bal looms across all Tamriel, and chaos spreads in its shadow. Danger roams the land and will assume many forms. Do not let it catch you off guard. Right. Got it. Any other tips or tricks or bits of advice you want to share? You must find your own path. But perhaps there is a reason for the place in which you find yourself. Explore. Search for a cause to lend your hand. Join with others. You might even seek out those who rescued you from the sea. The choice is yours. Okay, I'm gonna go then. I assume that the next time you need me or you figure out how we're gonna save Lyris, you're gonna pop up and do your creepy little ghost thing. So I guess I'll see you then. Goodbye. Oh, you're just gonna stand there, huh? All right, um, anything we can use left behind? Not opposed to just taking everything. Winifred, sweetie, it's good to see you. Trixie, at least you made it out. All right. Good, so the three of us are good, and, you know, the ghost prophet. Okay, where are we? This is, uh, okay. Can I, t no, you don't look like you want to talk at all. You okay. there, wet one. Me. This one needs to speak to you. Y okay. Welcome to Canarty's Roost, friend. The hurricane must have been very disorienting. So many injured, confused. Keep your voice down. Try not to draw attention. I, yeah, uh, the hurricane. Very, very disorientating. Uh, what are you talking about? Razumdar is here on a mission of some uh, delicacy. Okay. You are just what the Bandari ordered. Between your hands and Raz's good looks, we are certain to see this through. Well, I certainly don't doubt your good looks and all of the uh, things that we could possibly do together. With said good looks, what kind of help do you need from me? First, a question. Yeah? Where did you come from? <laughs> you really want to know the truth? Because it's something that even I don't believe. I was in Cold Harbor, you know, where Molag Ball apparently hangs out for fun. Uh, he totally plans to invade Tamriel, and I was one of those soul shriven, and there was a crazy old prophet and his ghost form and stuff like that. And I had to use a soul shard to get back here. Kind of, It was a crazy time. I'm still not sure if it actually happened or if I was just drunk, but I actually think it did happen. A Daedric Prince, you say? Yeah. Raz has a nose for lies, but you seem clean as an ocean breeze. That's because I am. Hmm. If anyone else asks you, where will you say you came from? Oh, if anybody else asks me outside of you, I'm going to tell them I'm a Dominion soldier who survived the shipwreck. I'm not an idiot. Yes, lie with confidence. A straight face and a gleam in your eye. Well done. It is very good right now to fit in. Your sudden arrival, it does not fit in, you understand? I understand, but 
Out of curiosity. I mean, I, I feel like I should already trust you, but... What are your reasons for thinking that I should trust you, kind of thing? You should not. Good. You should trust your instincts. Good. Live if you wish. No one will stop you. Or, come with Raz and do what you can to help us recover. In the process, grow your stature and wealth. It is entirely up to you. Okay, the fact that you're allowing me to trust my instinct makes me really happy. Because uh, that's the thing that I try to do all the time anyways. But why are you helping me? Because you are no soldier, which is useful. You can speak with the locals, assure them we are not invaders or marauders. Now come, let us try to fit in. Try is the key word, but between your good looks and my ability to blend in, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll get somewhere. I, I, just to warn you, though, the bear's with me, so good luck trying to fit in anywhere. Where are we? Okay, you want me to go with you over here? Commander Karen, at the moment, this recruit survived the shipwreck without injuries. You mentioned something about the Shattered Shoals, yes? Ma'am, excuse me? Did you want to talk? Glad you're up and about, recruit. I'm in need of a scout to head to Shattered Shoals. Most of our fleet foundered to the west, but we've had few survivors trickle in from that direction. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. Um, so do you need me to go find survivors or is there something else you need me to do we captured a sea viper spying Who? on the camp those pirates never oh. travel alone find out if they're around shattered shoals and if so what they're doing on this island okay of course you should assist any shipwreck survivors you find of course of we course. must each do our part absolutely love doing my part and uh, and so does winifred and, and and trixie so i'll i'll do what i can and report back how's that sound before you head to Shattered Shoals, okay. speak with Eelsil. Who? He just returned from exploring a nearby temple. Oh. That wizard claims to know something about everything, so he may have insight on how these sea vipers operate. Fantastic! I'll go uh, make friends and see what I can find. Eelsil is this way. Thanks. Thank you. Why are you leading me around everywhere? Are you just trying to listen in? Never mind, I can ask questions. Eelsil. This recruit wishes to speak with you. Hello, Isil. How you doing? Marvelous, isn't it? What is? We'll have to construct a special room for the Morning Stone when we bring it back to the Mage's Guild. I'm sorry, did you need something? Uh, yeah, the commander said you'd returned from a nearby temple. Yes, the Temple of the Morning Springs is an old Khajiit ruin not far from here. We excavated the Morning Stone from one of the chambers. As you can see, its supply of water appears endless. Uh, did you encounter any sea vipers while you were out doing all of that, or...? What do you mean? Pirates? Yeah. In an ancient Khajiit temple? Yes! Preposterous! Not really! All we saw were the undead warriors that overran our camp. Wait, so you think pirates at an ancient Khajiit temple is preposterous, but undead warriors is totally fine? Yeah, you gonna need... Never mind. Why were you attacked by the undead? I have no idea. Okay. Actually, I have 12 ideas, but they're far less fascinating than the Morning Stone. Probably some sort of ancient curse. It usually is with these things. I like it that you're so casual about ancient curses, and because nobody should really be casual about that. <sighs> Do you know anything else about the Sea Vipers that you can tell me before I go on my way? Arrogant sea elf pirates. Okay. To my recollection, they aren't known to raid Kanathi's roost. Oh, and they have a thing for snakes. But I'm sure we both have more important matters to attend. Uh, if you'd excuse me. Of course. We should speak privately before uh, you depart. Let's okay. meet by the statues north of camp. I'll follow you then. Or not. You just kind of dis- wait, did you, did you do the magic poofing thing? Can you do magic? There, you see? You fit in and no one will stop you from walking away. But as this one said, there are opportunities here for people that fall from the sky. All right, I'm listening. Tell me about these opportunities for people that fall from the sky. Ilsil is most impressed with his newest bubble. He seemed it. But the undead are a threat to all of Canarthi's roost. Okay. If you want to, you could search the Temple of the Morning Springs. 
determine how to contain the dead there. Then the locals should see we came here as allies, not conquerors. Okay, so you want me to go search the Temple of Morning Springs and handle the undead dead there. And then also you want me to handle the, I assume the pirates too. It's a lot to do. I'm going to need a nap at some point. Is there anything else? Karanit told you how the hurricane dashed the fleet into Canarthi's roost. Yeah. Now the sea vipers are picking at the bones of our ships. Strange, yes? Not really. You could scout the coast, as the commander said. Prove yourself to the soldiers. Okay, so save the soldiers, figure out what happened with your ship, go to the temple, murder the undead, which still sounds weird. Anything else? Where are you headed? Why am I doing all this? Shouldn't you be coming with me? Oh, there's far less glamorous work to be done in Mistral, at the northern end of the island. Let's meet up there after you've done what you decide to do. Until then, bright moons guide your steps. You too, Roz. Okay, so there's a temple I gotta go investigate, undead to find, and there's the whole sea viper thing. <sighs> what do you two think, huh? Let's go over here. Let's just... Oh, gosh, what is that? Let's just... Can we just over here for a quick second? Oh, my gosh. Why are all the things so big here? Isn't there just normal-sized creatures in this place? No, apparently not. Okay. <sighs> is this part of the shipwreck, I wonder? Oh, you see that? Never going to end, is it? There is treasure everywhere. All right, you two. Listen, I think we should go down to the coast. And walk around and see if we can figure out more of this ship stuff. Then we'll definitely go take care of the undead. Because I don't know about you, but ancient temples of mourning say treasure to me. Right? And we should go get ourselves some treasure. Yeah, I know you like treasure, Winifred. We're gonna go get that. Trixie, who are you laughing? Oh, you're laughing at that? Well, I get it. Okay, so let's go do all of that, huh? Joining the Dominion isn't about uh, what is taken from I think I'm getting yelled at. But Both what ways. we gain from each other. Okay, that was a very moving speech. Um, I think there's somebody over there that the said halt, come Together, no further, but we'll come no closer. Could I come closer anyways? You seem like you need some help. Heed my words. You endanger more than your life should you approach. Uh, thank you for the warning. What are you? A foolish spirit. My ambition brought me low, but I won't allow it to happen to another. The book before you bears a terrible curse, as do two others. You can hear it call to you, yes? No, actually, not at all. All I can hear is Trixie giggling behind me and then you. But how? I don't know. Are you strong enough to resist their call? Uh, maybe? You bring them to the shrine and finish what I did not? Heed my words. The forbidden knowledge within those books isn't for this world. They must be destroyed. Okay. So, let's say that I believe you and I have to destroy the knowledge in these books. What do I need to do to make that happen? The curse upon each tome is designed to feed souls to oblivion. Oh! But if you are able to resist their pull, you can collect the tomes and bring them to the shrine for their destruction. Is the shrine around here, or is it in the middle of nowhere? Is it like a continent away? Y you gotta work with me here. On the shores of Canarthi's Roost. Okay. Beyond the town of Mistral. Okay, good. It is lit by an ever-burning flame. Excellent. Should you collect all the tomes, bring them to the shrine without delay. No matter how strong you believe you are, I fear the tomes are stronger. Good news. I don't know if I'm stronger than them, so I'm definitely going to heed your warning should I actually find them. Okay. So, tomes to find now? How much... Why is it that we just can't go anywhere without having to do things? Okay, well, the first tome is right here. Uh, in truth, relieves that no more can be read the original with its grotesque and unnerving diagrams. Ugh. We'll be sent back for preservation. I pray I'll be permitted to leave this place soon. Okay. Well, good to know. We got first book. At last. This book had best be worth the price. Is that... Um... Is that... What? What is that? 
I think this is a vision, right? Am I hallucinating? Wait. Oh. I only oh. wanted to make something beautiful. Oh, God. It's it. Trick, stay away from it. Okay, never mind. It's gone now. Okay. What? Never mind. You know what? I'm not even going to ask. I'm just going to go get the other books at some point and then destroy them. Because if that's what happens when you read them and you're susceptible to them, then we should definitely get those. You know, don't laugh at it, Trixie, but it's also kind of funny. We should definitely get those off the market. Okay. Listen, normally I'm not one to stop and talk to strangers. I mean, who am I kidding? Of course I am, but... <laughs> Things don't look okay over here. Hush, father. I won't leave your side. Uh, I excuse me. I is everything all right? Father burns in the fire. My brother missing. Srendar, show mercy. Uh, fire? Your brother's missing? I'm sorry. Uh, what happened? Our moon sugar storehouse has caught fire. Oh, no. Father thought to save our livelihood. He ran inside and... And? The burns weren't bad, but the sweet smoke ruined his lungs. Oh, the poor thing. Without powerful medicine, he won't last the day. Is there anything I can do to help? Father tried to save our alchemical tools. If they survived the fire, I could trade them for medicine. Please, it's all I can do to keep my father alive. This one begs you to salvage the tools from our storehouses. Absolutely, I'll go find anything that survived. Please return quickly with the tools. If I can't trade them for medicine, this one's father will die. You got it. I'll be right back with that. All right, Winifred. Trixie on the double. Apparently we've got tools to go find. I didn't even know that there had been a fire. I mean, granted, I did just wake up after a, I don't know how long nap, but that's fine. So this, is this where the fire had happened? It doesn't. Oh, okay. Now I see it. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I definitely see it now. Is everything all right here, officer? I haven't seen you around the island before. Yeah. In the name of Thalmor, what's your business here? Wow. In the name of the Thalmor, huh? Is that how we're going to play this game? Listen, I didn't plan to come to your island any more than you planned to have me at your island, but I'm here and I'm kind of helping out. So that's really all you need to know. Ah, the shipwreck. Exactly. Worst hurricane I've seen in decades. It was awful. If you're headed through this plantation, watch your step. Last night, some buildings caught fire. Usually the skeevers keep to themselves, but they're acting up something fierce. Skeevers? Ugh. All right. Yeah, I'll be careful. Thanks for the heads up. I should get back to our inspection. If you see anything suspicious, it's your duty to let us know. Fires don't start themselves. I can imagine. Is the Dominion in charge of Kinarthi's roost out of curiosity? Not yet. Ah. As an act of goodwill, the Thalmor Inner Council sent us to aid Headwoman Harani in ending this island smuggler problem. And if this was arson, I'll bring the culprit to justice. You know what? If anybody could, I bet it would be you. Listen, because I have a funny idea who the Thalmor are, but I'd love to hear it straight from you. So in that way, I know I have my information either correct or incorrect. Who are the Thalmor? Dominion government. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm an officer charged with keeping the peace. Yeah, that's what I also thought. They sent us to Kanathi's Roost weeks ago. Inspector Tarmar commands us. He's at Laughing Moon's plantation toward the center of the island. Okay, well, thank you for the help. We will, uh... We will make sure to kill any skeevers that we see and just keep going. Officer, nice to see you. All right. Let's see. We need to find the alchemical tools. Maybe up top? Okay, listen. I know I could have said something to her about everything and, and the guy that's sick over there, but I don't trust him at all. If I said that, then I don't know. Maybe they go and do something awful to the guy or something. I don't know. Listen, or even blame him and his daughter for the fire. I don't want to chance it. Anything here? There's melted glass, but uh, nothing that I can salvage. All right. Next spot is probably over there. These houses are kind of cool, though. Or work areas. Anyways, this would be a cool house. You know, kind of like up and then like, uh, you know, like an area under here. Winifred, can you imagine, though, 
if we got you just like this big old area down here and like if we had a place like this think about it then you'd have plenty of space to just lie around and be winifred all right note to self get winifred a big old space just to be winifred okay up here now mm, anything what about this <sighs> these ones are absolutely completely ruined all right, nothing I can pull from here. Everything here is also scorched. Trixie, what are you laughing at? It's not funny, Trixie. Whatever it is you're laughing at. I mean, it actually probably is hysterical. Okay, we're gonna go this way. I think I saw a skeever, but I'm just gonna keep running because they gross me the frick out. Skeevers are definitely not my favorite. Did you see one? Did you see it? No? Okay. Winifred, you know how I feel about skeevers. Shoot! Sure. Get off my family sled. Um, okay. Well, can we talk for a second? If you plan to loot my family's plantation, I will give you such a thrashing. Okay, listen. I'm not here to loot your family's plantation. I'm here because I was asked to go look for alchemical tools because they need to be sold to get medicine. So that's why I'm here. Too late, sugar thief. The fire destroyed every last calcinator. Wait, I expected my sister to check on the tools herself. Why did she send this stranger? Ah, uh, she's with your dad, who's gravely injured because of the fire, because he tried to save everything and, and all that stuff. You lie! I don't lie! My father left yesterday to trade in Mistral, didn't he? Oh no, he set the fires to destroy those damn tools. You what? Not to hurt anyone. Not to hurt my father. I'm sorry, why would you burn your family's land and everything like that? Why would you do this? We lost our last harvest to the Thunderbugs. The what? Despite the debt. Asbira bought alchemical tools to improve our crop, she said. But last week, I caught her brewing skooma. Oh. That vile drug destroys lives. When she refused to stop, I knew what must be done. Okay. Listen, I would love to believe you, but I don't know who's telling me the truth at this point. You or your sister, it's beyond me. How do I know that you're telling me the actual truth right now? My sister despises sand under her claws. But recently, I saw her digging out on the beach. Why else would she be out there if not to bury skooma? I should go to my father. Would you look for any skooma hidden on the beach? Yeah, uh, sure. I'll go and, and see if there's any. If I bring the skooma back, though, what are you going to do with it? I'll destroy it. You promise? With the money we spent to rebuild. It will be like the skooma never happened. I'd rather debt collectors pound at our door than skooma dealers. Damn my eyes. Father should have been in Mistral. All right, so what am I going to do now for the fact that your dad needs medicine that I needed the alchemical stuff for in order to... Okay, I guess I'll just leave you to handle that. I'm going to go look for the buried skooma. My sister placed colorful seashells near whatever she buried. Okay. I bet there is a sack full of skooma vials next to them. I'll be with my father. If you find anything, bring it back to me. I will, I promise. I should really go check on my father. Yeah, you, you really should. I'll go do that. You go do that. So, really? There's nothing? You Literally, it's all. Hey, right, there's a skeever there. I'm leaving before the skeever sees me. Good luck talking to your sister. When you're gonna need it. Okay. Is this the... Uh... Can I make that jump? I don't know. We're gonna, oh, yep, nope, okay, I can. And made it. So where am I going? Definitely not at this beach. I mean, look, if I was going to look for stuff or bury stuff on a beach, I'd definitely do it a little bit away from, you know, the beach beach. I mean, not that this isn't the beach, but you know what I mean? Like the beach where all my stuff was. Ooh! Looks like somebody's treasure chest got swept up to shore. Uh, no! Oh, no. Okay, that. Excellent. Would we get anything good? A few things. Fine. Is that... That's a bird. Not a colorful shell. That is, in fact, a bird. That's not it. That's a mud crab. Good, good. A little guy. Ooh! I'll take this. Listen! I know, Winifred. I stop all the time to collect stuff like this, but you never know when I'm gonna need to build us something. 
Like a shelter. You think you can steal from the Cross Tree Bandits? What? Yeah, kind of. Why? Who do you think you are? When a Fred Chomu's boss. And just like that, we won. Okay, let's see if there's anything cool in here. Like Skuma. <sighs> All right, let's go talk to him. Tell him the news about his sister. And then I think that those are the ruins up there that we need. You know what I mean? So we're just going to have to backtrack. Honestly, I don't want to have to backtrack. But at the same time, I don't want to leave this poor family just like wondering what the heck happened to everything. Plus, that guy seemed really guilty about setting the fires. So at least if he knew about the whole skooma thing and how that ended, maybe he can put some of his guilt. Oh, look at that. I love when treasure just winds up on shore like this. Okay, we're just gonna take this. Winifred, are you watching out for me? Because we can't let somebody else take this. You never know. Oh no, Winifred, extra lockpick. Thank you. Okay. Whew, a few more things. Good. Fantastic. Yeah, I definitely think we gotta go up there to get to the, uh, maybe the temple or whatever it is that, uh, we were supposed to go take a look at why they're trusting a total stranger to to do some of this is beyond me. But you know what? We're just going to go with it. Okay, those mud crabs killed the skeever. I don't know if they actually did, but that's what I'm going to go with. And I'm rooting for the mud crabs. Ooh, I haven't seen one of these in a minute. <laughs>